Hi, hello, it's Sarah. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be doing a little bit of a story time, I guess. <laughs> um, if you are just joining the channel, I just wrapped up a four part series about a road trip that I took to New Mexico. Um, and I really wasn't sure how much I would be posting after that. Um, but I do have a couple of ideas and things lined up for videos and I've enjoyed making the videos. So we're going to keep, keep it going or try to, we'll see how it goes. Um, but this particular video is going to be, um, similar in that you'll see photos that I took <laughs> on a photo excursion, but, um, yeah, this turned into something more chaotic than expected. Is that clickbaity? <laughs> um, it's it was a it was an evening for sure. <laughs> so if you don't know me, um, I am currently living in the Denver metro area, and I am also renting an apartment from my brother and sister in law. So they um do photography as well um it's it's a hobby of theirs and they have their own channel where they post things also a lot of like jeep excursions um which the jeep is involved in today's story also but um they've been posting their stuff for a while so i will have them linked also just because they've done a lot of different stuff than i've posted so if you are into that kind of thing check them out it's a fun time <laughs> So after my road trip, I still had some film in both of my cameras that I needed to wrap up. And Amy has been shooting on a 35 millimeter Nikon that she bought not too long ago. Um, she's posted a video about it as well, if you wanna check that out. And uh, both of us were just like, we really need to wrap up these rolls of film. So Josh and I had been kind of looking at the weather on this particular day and it was supposed to be like kind of stormy and we thought we could get some like cool cloud shots at least um not like full full-fledged storm chasing photography but you know something and so that was that was the plan we were gonna pack up gear and, and head out we we're gonna go on a photo excursion but the jeep is dead so we're, <laughs> so we're using the electric car to uh jump the jeep vehicle um so we had it hooked up to the jeep and then josh quickly googled and was like actually we're not supposed to do that so for anyone who is um, interested in that uh electric cars don't use them to use jumper cables on a not electric car i don't know if you can use them to jump anything to be honest um but it was made very clear on the internet that that was not a good idea. So so I rolled Bev into the driveway and we got the Jeep running. Um, but then that meant that Josh was gonna go buy a new battery completely <laughs> before we left out um, or headed out of town. So by the time all of that happened, the storms had pretty well moved out to the east and it was gonna be we weren't gonna be able to get out somewhere pretty quickly um, and find like a decent spot for, for that type of photography. So we still headed out um, and we're just kind of looking for something. Two things um, that I should note. Out of the three of us, Amy is the <laughs> one who has a plan, has it put together. If she has something that needs to get done, it gets done type mentality, Josh and I, not so much. <laughs> um, we just, you know, do stuff. I don't know. <laughs> um, I think that is a lot of undiagnosed ADHD on both of our parts. And I can say that because I'm including myself into it, but um, that's not super relevant to this story, except towards the end, because it makes what happened all that more like how did this happen um but also with the jeep if you know me in real life i think you would say that i'm an average height maybe on the shorter side but all of my height is from the waist up my legs are so short <laughs> so 
uh, with the Jeep, I can't really get into it very well. Um, so <laughs> as of right now, the game plan when we do go out and use the Jeep, it is that Josh has to pull over a cinder block <laughs> and I <laughs> climb into the Jeep and then he puts the cinder block in the Jeep. It's a ridiculous, I just need to buy a step stool. Um, or I need to just wear like platforms. That's an option also. But that is something that causes issue later. <laughs> it's so hard for me to climb into that thing. So we didn't really have a solid game plan when it came to what we were gonna go shoot. Um, Josh had sent like a location to me a couple of weeks before that, I think, um, that he was like, this might be a cool pano. And so we went and it's this old gas station. We stopped pretty quickly and, and shot it and I got a few shots and you'll see them here. There was a little more traffic than anticipated in through that town, um, but overall it was just a quick little shoot and then we were on our way to try and find something else. So at some point we were going along and, oh, I should also note, this whole thing was chaotic. We were driving and all of a sudden Josh was like, huh! <laughs> and there were two cows out. They were just like right next to the road. Um, and we were like, cows are out, noting that for later. So we carried on and took a right turn at some point and we're just kind of going through the country, trying to find something where you could see the storms that had moved on. There were still like some pretty cool clouds structure and things happening in the sky, but just trying to find something in the foreground. As we were making our way through the country, at some point, Josh was like, what is that thing over there? Um, and it was just a small building that you could see on the top of a hill, but couldn't see anything else around it, didn't know what it was. And when we got to it, we realized it was probably an old school house. And I think that we did confirm afterwards um, that that's what it's like pinned as or tagged as on some sort of maps. I don't think it's even labeled on Google. Hold please, I will look it up. Yeah, on Google, there's nothing labeled. <laughs> um, so I don't remember where he found it labeled online afterwards, but it was confirmed that it's an old school house. Um, and it was just really cool. It was a cool find. We None of us knew it was out there. Um, and we ended up staying out there for quite a while um, through sunset and took a lot of photos. edit this one a little in the end. <laughs> Thank you. 
So yeah, by the time we wrapped up, we'd been there for quite a while. Um, it's just the light kept changing and with the storms that had moved on to the east, they, you could see them in the background. We were getting some really cool like lightning show. Um, I don't know that any of us got lightning shots, but um, it was just cool. It was really nice out there. Nobody drove past us the entire time we were out there. And it was, it was just a really cool find. And yeah, I really enjoyed um, taking photos out there. And in fact, Josh and Amy went back out there not too long ago and posted a video about that ex adventure that they did. Again, they went out searching for storms and ended up just back out in that area. So they shot the building again. Um, I was not able to go with them because I was working and I'm a little sad <laughs> about it, but um, it's just a cool find. Um, it's nice to have a location like that where you just like stumble upon it and are like, this is really cool. Um, one of the things that I have found, especially with the New Mexico trip and this building, I love when you can see like through a building <laughs> to, to um, outside where it's dilapidated to the point where it's just like a clean shot through. And so there's one photo in particular, I will put it here. I just love it. I, I think it's so cool. Had a good find. We all took photos that we were very into and it was time to start heading back because this was a Sunday night and my, I have Mondays off currently on my work schedule, but they do not. So, so, and it was quite a ways from the house. So that's going to be, it was going to be a long drive to get back and at a, like a decent hour. Spoiler alert, we did not get home <laughs> at a decent hour. So with all the things that had happened with the Jeep earlier, um, with having to go get a new battery and things like that, I don't know that any of us had really eaten lunch. Maybe we had, I'm not sure. I don't remember, to be honest. But we definitely didn't eat dinner because we just stayed out at this building um, through sunset and everything. So, um, which was probably like, 8.30-ish, I want to say. That's my guesstimate. Um, so by the time we rolled into the next like small town, it was almost nine o'clock. It was, in fact, we figured out that it was almost nine o'clock because there was a Dairy Queen. And so we went through the drive-through of the Dairy Queen and then realized when they had us pull to the front that they had, they were closing in like two minutes. So apologies to that Dairy Queen location. We would not have stopped had we known. Um, but it was also at that point that we were in the drive-through and Amy reached down to her bag and just said, where's my camera? This isn't something that you want to hear <laughs> um, when you've already just driven probably 30 minutes from a very random location and have gone past two cows <laughs> that have been out both times. When we came back, I was like, it's dark now. Remember that those cows are out and they were, they were, they were on the other side of the road, but they were still out. Um, yeah. So we were all just kind of like, uh, what do you mean? <laughs> like the one of us who is always put together and has everything in line and everything is put in place is the one who was like, what? <laughs> so, uh. so she was kind of like retracing her steps and realized what had happened was she had set the camera on the Jeep folded up her tripod, walked around, put her gear in, and then her door was open. So she'd put her gear in, walked back around, and then just got in and just never grabbed it. Um, so yeah, <laughs> we uh, had to go back. I said, by that point, it was probably 9.15, 9.30, just getting food. Um, waiting for the food, during the wait for the food, trying to figure out where the heck a camera could have gone, and then deciding it has to be back out there in this random location. Thankfully, um, it was a pretty easy 
find in terms of we knew how to retrace our steps. We knew what road we'd taken and it was just like two turns type situation. So we went back. This is where I will remind you that it's difficult for me to get in and out of the Jeep. So we pulled up to the old school house and I just stayed in the Jeep. I felt so bad because <laughs> they, they just got out and were looking with flashlights and their phones and everything, just like walking around and like retracing steps. And luckily it had it appeared that nobody else had been out there. There was only one set of tracks, it was ours. Um, so there was no chance that like someone had run it over or something. Um, but we could not find it. It was not where the Jeep had been parked and you would kind of think that just in jostling and turning that it would have just fallen off, but, um, apparently it didn't. So we were a little confused <laughs> and then, um, after probably 10, 15 minutes, they got back in the Jeep and we started just going very slowly down the gravel and shining <laughs> lights out the windows to see if we could find it. And as we went along, um, there was one spot where Josh was driving and he kind of sped up and he was like, do we, do we want to go back? Because we hadn't seen it at that point. And Amy was like, yeah, just like go back a little bit because we're going kind of fast. Um, and as we were going back, just going backwards that angle, our her flashlight hit the screen on her camera and she saw it in the middle of like the ditch. <laughs> and she's like, there it is. Crazy. That's the compartment. <laughs> How long of a ride was that? From back to where we were? Yeah. We rode about a half mile. Was the front road? Nope. Look if it just blows off, like I'm a, maybe a tiny scratch, I don't know. Yeah, but the camera's don't, I wouldn't zoom it. I mean, I'd leave it out and get all that cleaned up. Yeah. Door's broken. Is it? Right. Oh, great. The card's gone. The card had flown out <laughs> and her filters are magnetic. And so it had popped off, um, which I guess is like the one argument for having filters that thread on. I've been kind of jealous of hers, but in that case, it would have been nice had it screwed on. Um, but it just like popped off when it flew off the Jeep. <laughs> The card was gone and that was like the one thing that was she, Amy was hoping was like okay. She kind of at that point had decided the camera was probably completely destroyed. Um, but all, but she'd at least have the photos. And then when she realized the card was gone, it was just like what? <laughs> How does this happen? So they went back to where it looked like it had bounced and looked and lo and behold they found the card so she got her images which is crazy all right well let's just see let's go from there i i wouldn't put that in there yet and upon getting home uh they looked over the camera and it was totally fine there was obviously some dirt on it and they cleaned it up and the door to um the back just needed to be tightened. It, she thought it had been like completely broken, but there was just something on it that needed to be tightened and it works completely fine. So I shoot Canon and they shoot Nikon, but the Nikon held up after a quarter of a mile drive and flying off a Jeep that was not going slowly <laughs> on gravel over a cattle grate. And it bounced off and was totally fine completely functional. Um, she got her pictures and all was well. 
And then on the way back, we drove through a second line of storms that had popped up, but all in all, <laughs> everything was fine. I don't know if there's like a moral to this story. I guess sometimes you go out looking for something, but you don't know what it is and then you find it in such a case as, you know, the schoolhouse. Um, sometimes you know exactly what you're looking for. Um, like a Nikon Z whatever. I don't know what she shoots. I will put it here, maybe. Um, and it takes a little bit longer to find. Uh, everything worked out. I'm super glad we found the location. Um, it is a funny story. At the time, not so funny. <laughs> Um, and yeah, that's it. That's all I got. If you want to see the video, um, that Josh and Amy did of this like same location, um, after our little adventure, um, it's already up. She's had it up for like a week now. Um, and I'm still getting this video from a month ago done. My bad. Um, checks out though. <laughs> if you like this video, like and subscribe, maybe, please. It's very nice if you do. <laughs> um, but yeah, until next time.